Hey guys, how's it going? Does this freak you out? I just thought that we would start our session today. I sound like a psychotherapist, don't I? I play one on my vlogs. Um, but I do love, I am first of all loving my reading glasses because they have gotten rid of my headaches. Hallelujah. There's a flex for you. There's a flex for you. Um, really building a lot of muscle, guys. Lots of great, exciting stuff to tell you. But these reading glasses, um, it was such a game changer for me to get the um, reading glasses. And I don't know if I talked about this, but um, as I had gotten into several weeks of doing the bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, um, I was still having headaches every day and, and a lot of headaches. I mean, I was taking Excedrin three, four times a day. And, you know, again, the more that I learn and study and read about the big picture of hormonal uh, imbalance and, and treatment um, and causes of all of this stuff, um, it's not just one thing, you know, it's not like getting injured and you go, okay, I fell, that's why I broke my leg. This is like the totality of quite a lot of stuff. Um, but as I started to get into treatment and I, I think I shared with you guys, one of the first things that happened was three days in, I, know, I didn't have to take um, Excedrin PM or Advil PM anymore to fall asleep at night. That's a big deal. I had been taking that every night, not like I'm excited about it, guys, uh, but I hadn't been able to sleep through the night since about 2007 because I remember it was right around when I was going through my divorce. Um, anyway, um, so that was like a beautiful thing. And then when I started to think about all of the medication that I have been on that has contributed to hormonal imbalance, I also considered things like, wow, what has all this stuff that I've been on been doing to my liver and, and my gut health? Because this is stuff now that, yeah, I've been aware of, but now I'm paying attention to um, because it's, it's all important. So I just want to put that out there too. For those of you guys that are maybe coming back now that you've figured out I'm shooting videos again, hopefully getting more and more consistent on that. Uh, but for those of you that are maybe coming back and, and seeing that I'm um, talking about some of this stuff, there's certainly a stuff I'm talking about that I've been aware of uh, for a long time, and I ignored it. You know, let's talk about Splenda or Diet Soda. You know, I always swore I would never give it up and blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong, I miss Diet Mountain Dew. I miss Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi every day. Um, I fantasize about it, whatever. But on the other hand, it's now been nine weeks, I think, coming up on nine weeks. Um, since cutting that out, I use um, Stevia now, the Now Foods brand, um, and I'm totally cool with it. I chug water um, all day. Now I use this bad boy with a nice handle. I got this at Walmart. But, you know, this is my gauge to, to drink a gallon every day. Um, so anyway, the thing I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to give you a, a tiny little update because there's a hair back there that's disturbing. Um, tiny little update, and, and I'll go into more detail in some of my other blogs, uh, vlogs, excuse me. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on where I am eight weeks in and share with you, you know, some frustration. I talked about this uh, on my blog I think this past weekend um, at kellyalexa.com. Hopefully you subscribed. You can do that down below. Um, but it, it was a little frustrating for me in that I think it was um, it was the 15th, June 15th, the Monday after I did the Warrior Dash. And Whitney was like, look, you know, if we're heading into this next phase with you, I, I want to adjust your diet a little bit. I want to shake things up. Um, you know, because I had told her, I was like, I feel like I'm, I, I feel leaner. I had, I was excited that when I saw her, uh, when she was in Chicago, uh, that was probably around the 10th or the 12th for MPC Junior Nationals. First thing she said when she saw me was that she noticed a difference, especially around, you know, my middle. And, um, I was excited, but on the other hand, I, I still could tell you guys, I am leaning out. I am, I'm very happy when I see the muscle um, that I'm developing. I'm starting to see, and I probably shouldn't have shot this video in this top, but um, definitely seeing definition in my arms even when I'm not flexing. Um, my legs are getting leaner. Um, I, I feel good, but then on the other hand, you know, when I stand in front of my mirror and it's going to sound inappropriate, um, you know, if I don't have any clothes on, I, I still am just so 
I'm not pleased with how the fat is coming off my core. This has been the bane of my existence, and that is again, when you when you have fat around your core, that is insulin resistance. That is my hypothyroid. All of that stuff, and it is very very frustrating for me to be in, to be patient right now. So. I'm not helpful to you guys if I share this journey with you and I don't share that there are frustrations. It's not smooth sailing. You have to be ridiculously patient and it is very hard for me. I've been going through some really tough, you know, kind of ups and downs, a lot of downs maybe the past week or so because um, I have busted my tail, really busted my tail, getting cleaner and cleaner with my diet, um, working out, but then I also learned a couple things uh, on my diet. I'll tell you that in a second. Um, you know, and to not see something a little bit more visible. I guess that's what I was frustrated with is, is you know, can I just see something? I'm not, I'm not looking to lose the, the weight that I need to overnight. Are they gonna mow the lawn right now? But, but I would like to see something. I'd like to take my waist measurement and have it down half an inch or an inch. You know, that would be awesome. So um, Whitney said, we need to get you to the gym. You need to, and Dr. Riska said it as well. You've got to do an in-body um, weight assessment. Now, if you guys don't have that, um, look it up. In body machines are these amazing machines. He has one at his office, and they have one at Lifetime Fitness, which is where I work out. And you stand on this machine, you take your shoes off, and you have these handles that you you grip, and you're holding these handles with your thumbs on sensors, and I don't know, it shoots like pulses or something throughout your whole body, and it measures your. Let me see if I can pull up. Um, it measures your body fat percentage, your 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 water content. Um, this is just so that you can see. Hold on. This is like what the readout looks like. See, and and I took it with the flash. So, um, but anyway, Whitney knew I was frustrated. Dr. Riska knew I was frustrated. And he's like, look, because because here's why I was frustrated. The Monday after Warrior Dash, I weighed myself. And the weight on the scale was the highest weight I've seen on the scale in probably a year and a half. So here I am feeling really good, doing better on my diet, doing better in my workouts and weight training than I ever have. I mean, more consistent weight training than I have been in probably a year and a half. And I get on the scale, and as a woman, when you get on the scale, and it's a higher weight than you've seen in, in I mean, your first reaction, even if you know all of that stuff, muscle, you know, you're probably gaining muscle, blah, 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 I don't care. You're still like, what? How can, how can this be? You know, it, it's like, so they said, you've got to get the end body done. We've got to see where you are with your body fat percentage. We've got to see and, and then use that, not just the weight on the scale. So all things considered, I was very upset. So went in and did the in body um, last Thursday but I didn't know that you're not supposed to um, work out before you do the in-body, so I had done fasted cardio and um, had a lot of water. So they're like, you need to go back in. Now, it is June, what is today's date? It is, I'm hoping that I'm, yeah, I am. I'm gonna put this video live. It's June 23rd. So on June 15th, my scale from June 15th to today, which is, um, what is today, the 23rd, so eight days later, I didn't realize it was that little amount of time, um, but I'm down four pounds. So, you know, when I first got on the scale that day, Whitney was like, you know, you told me you were dehydrated, could be this, but of course my mind was like, la, 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 you know, I don't care what you're saying, I'm not hearing it, I'm just freaking out. But it it's pretty nice to know that I went today, um, when I went last Thursday, I was two pounds less than I was, and now I'm four pounds less than, than I was there. Do I expect to lose four pounds um, every week? Absolutely not. Um, do I think some of it could have been that I was dehydrated at the Warrior Dash? Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But ultimately, the key is, guys, um, and I'm closing in on 10 minutes, um, I'm at this phase with, you know, I, I almost think that now is maybe the hardest part, right, for me, because I've been doing this, the bioidentical treatment for, um, for eight weeks, for two months. Um, I've had so many things, so many things, um, 
change for the better. Sleep is better. My body temperature is better. I don't have to use that weird deodorant, the kind that you put on at night, that um, certain dry, the kind that stings. Um, I used to have to do that because I would get, my body temperature would just switch into hot mode and I'd be sweating. Um, so that that's better. Um, the headaches are better. That's because of the glasses, obviously, not necessarily because of the hormones. But I'm doing so much better. On the other hand, it's really it's a fine line because when you get to that place where you're like okay everything's happening but the one area that's like to me 50 percent of what i'm excited about which is i want to lean out i want to lose the body fat that i haven't been able to lose you know fixing my insulin resistance and fixing my hypothyroid situation is obviously going to require a lot of tweaking a lot of testing i knew that going into it but you guys it doesn't make it it doesn't make it easy to deal with. So here's what I'm going to do. I really want to keep my videos under 10 minutes and I went over today. So I'm going to zip it for today. I'm going to go um, dive in and, and get some work done today and I will shoot more videos tonight. But I at least wanted to get something up and let you guys know, you know, I'm measuring things. I, I'm doing really well. I'm two months in. Um, definitely seeing some results, thank God, because I had certainly a hiccup there. Um, with my weight going up, but I'm, I'm glad that I have access to this in-body thing because that can show me that, hey, you're not crazy, <laughs> you're not getting fat, um, this stuff is working, but um, it kind of helps me, again, kind of focus more on um, everything as this science project. And, and that's really what we all are. Whether you have hormonal imbalance or not, fitness, health, and wellness, it's all about tweaking and figuring out what works best for us, what we like the best, what we're going to stick with the best, and what's the most effective for us. So um, if you guys are going through a tough time, just know that um, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And, and it's the, those of us that persevere through the tough times, continue to have faith and keep going, that's when you make progress. That's when you're inevitably going to get there. But this is the tough part. And I'm committed to staying through it. I hope you are too. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay?